So Microsoft Authenticator, the TOTP app, your six digit codes, it had a bug. Apparently it's a bug that's existed for a long time. And what it does is it overwrites user accounts. Do you want to take a guess at like the item that if you reuse it, causes it to overwrite? What? So like you it's add- It's reproducible. You add a new account and it, and it erases the old There's, one? Is that what you're saying? What's, what's yes. going on here? <laughs> Well, guess, guess what like entry in your TO, like when you manually input your TOTP information, guess which entry, if it uses the same info, it, it overwrites <laughs> itself. I don't even know what Microsoft Authenticator accepts, but it's probably something dumb like the name or the logo probably. <laughs> it's the username. Really? <laughs> so if you have the same username on multiple websites, it'll actually overwrite oh, the oh, previous on, on entry. On different websites? Oh, because you don't know. On different that. websites. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and you know the best part here? I'm going to pull up the like the primary source here. Microsoft Authenticator will overwrite an account with the same username. Given the prominent use of email addresses for usernames, most users' apps share the same username. Right. Google Authenticator and just about every other th- Authenticator app add the name of the issuer, such as a bank or a car company, to avoid the issue. Microsoft only uses the username. The flaw appears to have been in place since Authenticator's release in 2016. Users have complained about this issue in the past to no avail. In the two correspondence with Schumann, Microsoft first laid blame on users, then on issuers. Several <laughs> IT experts confirmed a flaw, with one saying it's possible that this problem occurs more often than anyone realizes because users don't realize what the cause is. If you haven't picked an authentication app, why would you pick Microsoft? Yeah. Question mark. And that's the final <laughs> end quote. <laughs> that is a great question. I mean, th- this is just something to add to the long list of reasons that the people who think that Microsoft products are the most secure things ever are completely wrong because <laughs> Microsoft cannot make completely wrong cannot make a single thing right. <laughs> what has Microsoft ever done? <laughs> oh, here, here's a quote. I believe the fix. Sorry, I mean workaround for this is to use the secret key from the identity provider and manually type this into the Authenticator app during setup. So you have to put in like your own information. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they add a good point here. This is not very helpful in an enterprise environment, especially when the average end user rarely knows anything about the inner workings of authentication. I mean, I had to make like a 25 minute video explaining TOTP because I feel like a lot of people don't understand it. Um, I just think it's really funny. And yeah, I feel like Microsoft Authenticator unironically might be used for a lot of enterprise stuff, which is like the worst group of people you want this happening to. Yeah. I'd imagine this has caused a lot of headache in the enterprise space because people probably had 2FA reset. They didn't know why it didn't work. So they called their, you know, help desk or whatever, have them reset it. <laughs> people probably resetting this like every week or something. Okay. In defense of Microsoft. So again, they blame the users. They say we can confirm that our authenticator app is functioning as intended. When users scan a QR code, they will receive a message prompt that asks for confirmation before proceeding with any action that might overwrite their account settings. So there is a prompt that Microsoft gives you saying it will overwrite something. So it doesn't just happen behind the scenes, but kind of the rebuttal to this is that a lot of times in an enterprise environment, especially this isn't actually done by the user and it's normally the security team that's doing this on behalf of people. Yeah, I think anytime you're blaming the user, that's a sign that you're doing something wrong as a company. (laughs) Yeah. You're holding it wrong. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Famously, it has never been a good excuse, and it still is not now, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching this TechLark clip. This is actually a clipped version of a full-length video that talks about this topic a lot more thoroughly. So if you wanna check out a lot more digital rights content, check out the main TechLark channel, and we'll see you over there.